it's, I don't know, Wednesday, Wednesday, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> this is not how you start this. It's Wednesday the 11th. November 11th. Went down to 30 degrees last night. I'm still frozen. It's like 45 degrees out here. I'm gonna go out in the sun here. It's too fucking cold. Uh, I'm just spinning my wheels for the last couple days. I'm not getting anything done, but I'm doing a lot. And none of it's sticking. And that seems to be the way around here sometimes. Um... This rainwater catch that I put up failed. This is crazy. There's nothing. Oh, <laughs> well, fuck. All right. <sighs> Damn, that sucks. Because uh, I didn't cement the whole thing in place. This rain gutter that I put up is dripping in two spots where those fucking those the connector piece. Where you put it together, I can't get that shit to stop dripping. I don't know why, it, but it's not, it's not working. Uh, and it's fucking cold at night, and I don't really have a heater in here. I mean, I have a, a ventless propane heater, but if I turn it on, it spits so much moisture in the air that then the windows just get all this condensation, and it drips to the floor, and then the floor gets these big puddles and shit, and it's like, I can't run it, so... I'm just kind of relying on the the insulation to trap the heat from the day. But the problem with that is I got to open the windows for a while because it's sweaty because I turn on that heater for a minute or two just to heat it up in there and then trap the the heat and that's enough to fucking keep all the moisture in. Plus all this uh this closed cell insulation, it just traps moisture. I bought a 12 volt fan to I'm going to cut a little hole near the top. Uh, right near the ridge there. Near the top. I don't know what I'm pointing at. It's all glare. <laughs> Up in there <laughs> somewhere. Uh, I'm going to cut through the wall and hook up a 12 volt fan on a switch to kind of suck some of the air out and get some circulation. But I don't know if that's going to help. <sighs> this sucks. I don't know. I'm fucking... Not low energy, low morale. I've got a ton of energy today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this plastic IBC tank out. You can see I took the, the poles off the top. I'm going to wrap it in black plastic to keep the sunlight out of it. And then I'm going to wrap the entire cage in some rigid insulation and build like a frame around it. And then put it into place. And at least maybe I can get one of these hooked up today or tomorrow um, the next couple days it's not supposed to rain it's just gonna be cold I don't know I mean it goes to like 50 around like 1 or 2 in the afternoon it'll be 50 degrees and then it goes back into the 30s at night so I'm just gonna fucking freeze my ass off I guess for a while it sucks cuz uh like every time the weather changes like this, I usually get sick. And the weather changes here every two days. <laughs> I haven't gotten sick yet, but it, I don't have a ton of faith in it. And nowadays, if you get sick, it's always like, oh shit, is this it? Is this the one? Is this the cocoa? And apparently in this state, it might be. It might be the cocoa.
everybody has COVID around here. I don't know. We get depressed, I guess is what I'm saying. It's not that I regret my choices. I just, uh, I don't know. I wish I had waited till spring to do this. That, that was the original plan was to do this last spring and then COVID fucked all that up. And then when I had a chance to sell my house, I was like, fuck it, I'm just doing it. And I did it. And now here we are. And it's cold as shit. Whatever, I'm going to start going on this. So I end up doing everything two to three times because it always fucks up the first time. So I take this board, right, and I cut this channel in it to fit over. See how that kind of fits over there? So I can mount this up in the center there, and then I, I always forget some stupid step so I didn't drill pilot holes, and then when I drilled these fucking screws through I split the board so now it's like start over so there's 20 minutes of your life and do that 17 times a day and essentially you get nothing done ever even filming that god damn it you fucker this shit is so close to working and yet it doesn't oh shit Ugh. you know the old adage measure twice cut 17 times because you're a fucking dipshit Uh, this thing here, this big ass pipe, this is called the first flush diverter system. So like say say you didn't get rain for two weeks or whatever, there's a lot of dirt and shit on your roof, uh, birds shit on it. There's like, you know what I mean? Bugs and whatever in the fucking gutters, leaves. I don't know how many gallons of water that this would hold, it's four inch pipe and there's 10 foot of it. So you figure, I don't know, 
I have no idea, but let's say 20 gallons this holds. It's probably not even that much, but so then your first like 20 gallons will just fill this up. And then when the water level rises to here, that's when it starts to trickle out and go over. The idea behind this is to catch all this, the dirt and sediment and like little pebbles and shit or whatever, whatever's in there and send it to the bottom. And then ideally you want to put uh, like some kind of something to drain it from the bottom here and then you'd have to come out after a rainstorm and drain it but I think what I'm going to do is just drill a really small hole in it so that water just barely drips out and then it'll rain fill up and then over the next few days just kind of slowly drip out on its own and uh, maybe maybe that cap is tight enough that I won't even have to seal it and then when I want to clean it out I could just pull the cap off I'm not 100% sure on how I'm going to do that. I also have to get some kind of strainer in place for this to like, to, uh, you know, kind of strain out the bigger, anything that's going to float. You know what I mean? Like a, a leaf or something is going to float up to that and then come through. So I got to somehow strain this. Another thing I have to do before I can really put this into place is you got to cover this with something. You can't let light get through it or else algae will grow on the inside and then your water's fucked. You know what I mean? You still got to clean these out like once a year or so, but if you if you have sunlight going through it within three months, you're going to have algae. Maybe not in the winter, but in the summer. At the end of summer, it, it would the water would all be green. Check that shit out. That is not set up permanently at all. I didn't cement any of those pipes together. They're just... Uh, fit right now dry fit but it is supposed to rain tonight and the way I had it set up it was just gonna dump a bunch of water down the side of my cabin so I set this up let's see what happens maybe it'll fill this tank maybe it'll fucking overflow this tank if so I just pop that end cap off and let it run out this way uh, but I just have this I don't know how to make a good fitting here I think I might have to make like a T, do a T connection so that when this fills up, it goes over and out and do a T off the top of that one too. Um, I'm going to connect the bottom both together and have a T fitting that fits, feeds in, but I couldn't figure out a way because this has, here, let me show you. All regular pipe connections have, it's, it's what's called NPT threads. I don't know what that is something normal pipe threads nominal pipe threads this is different this is coarse mpt is like this kind see how they're like fine threads there's like twice as many threads so i couldn't really find anything that fits in here so this is just kind of set in there to actually set these tanks up permanently i have to cover them with something that won't let the light in. And then I should also, if I'm smart, put some kind of heat wrap around them. So maybe I'll just insulate the whole thing, box the whole thing in, and use some of that insulation board that's left in the bus. I don't know what's gonna happen with this. I hope it'll fill this tank up. I also wanna see if this ground gives way when this tank is full. Cause 275 gallons, you know, eight pounds a gallon, it's fucking almost 2,000 gallons. No, it'll be over 2,000 pounds, right? Because every 100 gallons will be 800 pounds. So, yeah. It'll be a little over 2,000 pounds. And then that one will be a little over 2,000 pounds, too. So, I don't know if this tiny little area can hold 4,000 pounds without just giving way. Especially since I fucking destroyed it with a tractor like a dickhead. I have this. Um, I did not buy this. I brought this from Pennsylvania from when I built the earth bag shelter. I was using it for that. I don't exactly remember what I used it for. Probably something with the foundation and whatever. Um, everything, I just watched a bunch of YouTube on how to wrap these fucking things. And if I hear one more person say, it's just like a Christmas present, I'm going to fucking throw my phone at a wall. Uh, but what they're using is 10 foot wide shit. This is 20 feet wide. But so they're using 10 foot by 14. So I'm going to roll this out to 14 feet, cut it, then un unwrap it. 
and then uh, you know slice that down the middle and hopefully I'll have enough to wrap two of these. And then you just wrap it like a Christmas present. Dude, if anyone's ever gotten a Christmas present for me, they know that this is destined for failure. Alright, so laid this out 10 foot this way, 14 that way. Brought this over, pulled pulled it out of the cage. It is uh, surprisingly light for how big it is. I'm gonna take this lid off, flip it over, lid side down in the middle there. Um, oh shit, I gotta cut these too. I'm gonna take that tin snips and fucking snip these right there and right there. Because when you go back through the pipe, the pole that holds these in uh, that'll be in the way and you won't be able to go through without piercing the plastic there so I don't want to do that um, and I'm gonna put this see how one side maybe I can't get this whole thing in a shut it's a little wider it's wider this way than it is that way so I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put it with this thinner direction going the 10 foot way there uh, basically flip the whole thing over and Wrap it like a Christmas present. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm going to video any more of this. There's like 70 fucking videos on you. You fucker. On YouTube. So why bother? You know? Oh, I stuck that there to know where the 7 foot mark is. And so that the wind could blow it away. And I'd have to start all over. So yeah, I'm going to start going on this right now. Yeah, two of these fucking things to do. Alright, man, done. They do not look good. But they are done. Just kind of cut an X over this and just started pushing. The way I ended up folding it, everything folded over this. So there's like a lot of layers of plastic there. This is pretty thick plastic. So I don't think much sun's going to get in there. Plus I'm going to wrap all this in rigid. But I can open and close them uh yeah they kind of they look like shit don't really care don't care not good at wrapping presents man if you've ever gotten a present for me this is what it looked like less duct tape probably but some duct tape i gotta get the ground prepared over here because each one of these is gonna weigh a lot over a ton when they're filled with water and this ground is pretty much mud at this point so i'm gonna scoop up th these rocks are real thick here because that's where i had them dump it i'm gonna like scoop up these rocks mix it in with this dirt a little bit and hopefully it'll fucking stiffen it up a little i don't know what i'm gonna do honestly i, d I don't think it's gonna end up well good well well or good it's not gonna be well or good so here is all I've gotten done today. The tanks are wrapped. And I started fucking around. I mean, I, I leveled out the ground. Some stones under it. I don't think that shit's going to last at all. That is pure mud there. I purpled that. Purpled. <laughs> I uh, fucking cemented that in there. That cemented on the bottom, not on the top. I'm going to have to pull that off on the top because I want to put a screen... And I'm not sure how to attach it, but maybe just like a round screen around this. That'll maybe catch this lip. Fuck, I'm not showing you anything. A round screen on the inside here that'll catch this lip. So that when this pushes dirt into here, like a leaf or something, that then f it fills up, it won't go through. It'll get caught on the screen. But I also don't want everything to get fucking caught on the screen. Because there's not going to be an easy way to clean it out. Maybe I'll just never cement this tube in. You know, I'll just always just have it in there by pressure alone. And if it drips a little, so what? I don't know. But then that leads you back to you're eroding away this mud. Look at this. And I mean, this is, I did pour some dirt here to like kind of fill this in. But look how squished down it is already just from stepping on it a couple times. I don't know, man. Some days are fucking... Some days seem really promising, and then other days it's like, oh my god, you fucked your entire life up. You threw an entire life away to come do this. 
what are you fucking doing? And then I and then I spiral the fuck out, and I'm like, what are you gonna do for a job? How are you gonna get money? What are you gonna? You're fucked. You're never gonna achieve anything. You're ne- This is never gonna come together. How are you gonna pull all this shit from the from the fucking brink of failure? How are you gonna do that? And I don't have an answer for that shit. I do know it's 50s every day now. Goes down in the 30s at night. No end in sight. Some some of these nights, uh, low 40s, which is better. So I got to get some heat going. I'm waiting on one part to come, but it's not coming until the 20th. Today's the 11th. Um, so I got to get something going before that. I have that propane heater. It sucks. It just puts a bunch of moisture in the air. So I can't just leave it running all the time. As of now, I'm just two sweatshirts, get in a sleeping bag, fucking curl up, turn the propane heater on once or twice during the night for as little as possible. And then that door, all the windows, and basically an inch around the frame of the door where it's not insulated, just get all this condensation and it just pours onto the floor. And then I have to like soak it up. I don't know. This is, I guess this is just me bitching. <laughs> this fucking video is just me complaining about, about things that I've, are, I did. I'm just complaining of, of my own mistakes. I don't know, man. Whatever. I'm just gonna keep it moving. Welcome to Missouri, everybody. It is nice here, though.